Families on the east side are on edge after a crime that doesn't get much lower than this, vandalizing and then burning up a kid's playground. Why well, set out to destroy things that people are enjoying? Um, there's, uh, there, you know, you need a psychologist to, uh, to figure it out. Well, now Clark County is hoping to catch the people responsible for burning a slide and part of a nature trail causing thousands of dollars in damage. 13 Action News reporter Tom George has more from Desert Inn and Pecos. Oh. <laughs> On a summer day, it's moments like these yeah. that can make an abuela smile. Mira, está el bebé. <laughs> Making the same memories at Winchester Park that Pete Bobrick made with his kids decades ago. Yeah, we had a lot of great times here. But this time, bringing his grandson back... You know, he always finds a friend. ...was different. Shocked to find one of the slides at their favorite hangout torched. It makes you sad seeing this happen, this vandalism. Now we have to be careful with our kids. You can see now, even days later, this slide is still chained off, and the destruction didn't stop there. They walked all the way over here to the nature walk, torching each plant as they went. The only thing that finally stopped the fire were these needles. It all happened sometime before Tuesday. Whoever started the fires also destroyed this shade structure. The supervisor at the cultural center says many of the plants were donated and the damage could cost thousands. Setting fire to a plastic uh, children's slide. I mean, it's just kind of the depth of the meanness there is hard to understand. Now, as kids keep playing, grandparents with some wise advice for the culprits still on the loose. They should be arrested. It's not fair for them to do these kinds of things. Grow up and do the right thing. Quit uh, tearing up our valley. Tom George, 13 Action News.